Hello everyone. Welcome to our Web Training Academy channel. This is our uh, weekly update uh, video, bi-weekly update video. So the, today is March 1st, which I'm recording this particular video. So I'm going to say, explain you about the last uh, two weeks of updates. So let's uh, jump into the update. So first thing, John Mueller have actually answered a question regarding whether the keyword in the domain name will be beneficial for SEO or not. So according to John Miller, he says keyword based domain names are limiting, limiting in the sense if you book a domain name with this uh, specific to keyword. Now basically Google uh, assumes that that particular domain is about that topic itself. So it is limiting in that sense. And also the other aspect is uh, also John Miller said it doesn't have any SEO bonus or benefit. But I would say that if you take a very low competitive keyword, all right, and there is less competition in a keyword, in those kind of keywords, you will notice that short, uh, you know, the keyword based domain names outrank other websites in general. But this is a, a algorithmic point of view. Google says that they don't have a value or advantage, but practical perspective, my own experience, I'm telling you where there will be a kind of advantage would be there because of competition would be low. Ah, high competition keyword, there will be no chance at all. But for lower competition, there will be a probability of better ranking. Now, next update we have is Google rolls out new metadata for educational videos. That is, if you upload a video on YouTube, you have different categories. So this different categories or the different type of uh, uh, sections we have in that if you select education, now you can add what is the board what is the what kind of uh, organization is it is this video associated with then what is the grade of the uh, you know the topic which has been talked what is the subject of the video like that this metadata will be shown in search results so that when someone is searching for this topic they can actually know whether it is relevant or not for example i'll give you probability is and statistics is a subject which is available for uh, you know uh, 10th class and 11th class student also it is available for uh, engineering also now when i'm searching for probability and statistics suppose i'm planning to learn about engineering point of view then i don't want the 10th standard probability so i can see that standard and i can automatically skip the video so for that reason this metadata can be very very helpful for educational content then google web stories now what is google web stories is basically it's a simplified version of AMP AMP accelerated mobile pages which we have a plugin and which will auto generate a, a particular page auto generated page of our website which will be loading faster on mobile but web stories is not like that the change is web stories doesn't have a separate URL web stories are nothing but the HTML version of the same page only the HTML content will be taken in the web version of uh, in web stories instead of in AMP we used to have two separate versions one is a, a full version one is a AMP version but in web stories it's a simplified version of the given page it is basically the same and also Google have released one plugin for WordPress if you have a WordPress website you can install the web stories related plugin and optimize your website for web stories next Google page experience update starts rolling out in desktop I would say this is a great update and by the end of this month this rollout will complete now I would suggest you first understand uh, what is page experience update which I have taken certain videos about core web vitals you can check in the description or in the eye icon above so, so that you can understand what is core web vital and what is page experience this started rolling out on desktop it can have an effect slight effect on the website positive or negative you have to keep a track of this aspect then Google is adding more data analytics about views and revenue basically it is for uh, youtube creators to understand more about your data understand more about your audience and users youtube is adding more and more data to it and the last update google ads updates destination requirement policy basically the ad destination policy we have where uh, google will provide more details earlier if your uh, ad is disapproved you will just get uh, this particular url is uh, disapproved this ad is disapproved of a destination policy but not exact reason but now google will tell you the reason if the content doesn't have uh, if the content is not there so Google will tell the reason that the content is not there it is a coming soon page that's why it is visible or any other uh, problem would be there then Google will explain you the reason and based on that they will give you the 
update of this particular policy it's for google ads uh, uh, users so it can be a very great way to resolve and troubleshoot your ads as quick as possible i hope those two i hope uh, you have understood this uh, particular week uh, updates and i request you to please hit the like button a lot of our viewers are just watching and leaving the video just like that if you just like a video it will be helpful for us and it will be like your support for our uh, time and effort which we are keep which i am taking to you know uh, create this simple videos for your updates i hope you will uh, like this video as well as subscribe to our channel thank you very much